Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. You gonna do it on your phone? I think so. I think I've got it working on my phone. <laughs> I'm trying to show off the frames per second I guess. According to the recording anyways. 48 frames per second. What? And we got a squidgy baby. I wanted to tell you guys how I did in the event, which was not complete. Um, this was by far one of the most difficult events I think Nexon has put out. Uh, an overwhelming number of people have outcried and said, this is too hard. Um, it was really quite geared towards people that are extremely active in the game. Um, and as a result, how did I do? My progress. I'd like to think that, you know, Marla and I are fairly active as far as attacking and whatnot through the day, but I don't feel that we, we don't, we certainly don't sit down and, and raid for hours at a time. Like, the, I know that there's people Some that, evenings we get to, but not, not, not every day. Not every day, certainly. Um, so, my overall, oh, it doesn't even say... The claim period ends in one day and 22 hours. Uh, my end one was 9,000, 9,200 and some. Okay, see, and I just got over the hump of step four. Okay. Which was like, was it six five or five five? Six, six five. Um, so that's where that's at. I am excited for the... Uh, what is the next event that was coming up? I did see something. Oh, the uh, barrage tactics and mortar units are 90% cheaper and faster to train. Uh, I went and tried the, the mortar guys again as a result of that. Um, I still wasn't very satisfied with them. I, um, I think they fire too slow is really what it is. They don't have enough range and they fire too slow. If they had a, the range that was equivalent to uh, like a range of four or even five, which is the equivalent of a tank, or no, not a tank, a, a catapult or a cannon or a bombard, if they had that kind of a range, I would certainly be thinking about it. Uh, now, as far as the barrage, I think if you're a lower level, that would be extremely helpful. I know in my classical account, I have been utilizing that. Um, so... We'll have to see what the next event actually is after this one. So, no flame thro throwers for me. Uh, if you guys did actually manage to complete the event, well, congratulations. That's okay. awesome. I know that there's some people that had done it, you know, within the first day or two, actually. Um, I think that's a huge accomplishment. And yeah, that's good. Great. For good on you. I hope you enjoy. I have been trying to hunt for the oil. I was up to about 8,500 yesterday. As you can see, I'm down to 72,454. I'm trying to hoard it as best as I can. I've changed my base a few times in order to try and hang on to that. Um, not having any, not having much success. I think it's going to require a lot of dedication to get over that uh, or close to that 120 uh, that is necessary. And the first thing that I'm going to do as soon as I get that 120 is going to be, or sorry, 100,000 is all I need, is to get my bunker. Um, and the fallacy being, I think, once you have a bunker, it's easier to save your oil. Right, so it's like a catch-22. Um, if you have a bunker, it's either easier to save oil. But you need the oil in order to get the bunker. So that's where I'm at right now. It's 28,000 away. Um, I did manage to get my first cannon. Anti-tank gun, rather. Uh, these are definitely worth it. The damage per second on these, 3,500. In comparison with a cannon tower, which is just over 2,000. Um, so you're, you're talking, you know, 1,434 uh, increase as far as that goes. Uh, I think it will tell you. Yeah, 14,034. Look at me go. All the math right here. Um, okay. I did want to actually walk through uh, how to attack with you guys. I'm willing to drop a peace treaty just for you guys. Uh, one of the questions that I have received quite often is how do I pick where I'm supposed to go in uh, when I'm attacking a base and dropping my troops 
And the answer to that is, well, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, so, thus to mean, we are in war. So I'm going to scout uh, the guy that I am going up against, and I'll let you know how I'm going to handle it. I am. I am. I'm going to tell them how I'm going to handle my war attack. Now, obviously, this is different than raiding. Um, so, isn't this guy interesting? I think this is going on the presumption that we are going straight across. This gentleman's name is Jerry. Or la lady. It could be a lady named Jerry. I'm sorry. Uh, so, on a given basis that I do want to get the quick victory, I am going to go ahead and probably start from the top here in order to get that out of the way. Uh, and then I'm going to work my way to this compartment. I think your mom's getting you some food. I think she is. I think she is. I think your mom's getting you some food. I, it's upsetting. So, with that being said, uh, the concept is that you want to get within five spaces of whatever your target is as fast as possible. What does that mean? Um, you want to attack in such a position that you're not going through things with heavy high hit points or too many buildings. Uh, if you're traveling too far of a distance, then it's not going to work either. So for instance, if I was to attack down here, um, what are you looking for? Oh, there, there you go. There it is. Uh, if I was to attack down here, the first thing I note is that he's got his vault right there, which is a high hit point building. Uh, the other buildings that have extremely high hit points, oil refineries. Oil refineries have high hit points. You want to try and avoid going through an oil refinery in order to get to what your target is, which in this instance is going to be the town center, city center. Now this guy's global age. I'm assuming he's probably global age with offensive troops. Let's check one down. One down is going to be industrial. Seeing that looks a little bit better off. So in this instance, that's a hard one. In this instance, in order to actually get in there as fast as possible, and not be slowed down, I think my best option is going to be coming in from the top. Come here, sweetheart. Say hi to the people. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is what was squeaking in the background. I think your mother has some food for you, baby girl. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, in order to actually get in there and get what my target is uh, as fast as possible, I would be coming in from up here. Uh, I've got two rows of buildings. Sorry, three rows of buildings to get to. Uh, but, one, I don't have to go through the slowdown Versailles. Uh, and two, it should allow me to actually perform a sabotage on both of these in order to not get taken out uh, and make my way in. Now, this gentleman looks like he's, or lady, looks like he or she is early industrial on the basis that they still have a catapult and a uh, bombard tower. What is it called? The little tower thingy. Before it's a cannon tower, what's it called? Ballista. A ballista tower. Ballista. Ballista. Um, so that's, as far as a war attack, that's what your goal. And you have to be able to decipher what your goal is. Optimally, um, the best way to go about it is to, you know, shortest distance from A to B. But take into account things like Versailles, uh, things that are heavy hit point or high hit points, such as oil refineries, right there, uh, and vaults as well. And I do utilize my vaults within my war base in order to actually distract troops um, because obviously if they're not
target specific troops, for instance, a tank, <coughs> excuse me, a tank is a target specific troop. It will go for defensive buildings. Um, your other things such as cannons, archers, uh, riflemen, uh, those are non-specific. They'll just target whatever is in front of them. Now, we're actually going to go and do a loot. I think I've got some troops trained up and we'll be able to walk you through there. Now if you can't guess, uh, my target is going to be oil. We're going to see if we can't get enough, get some oil to make it worth dropping this peace treaty for you guys. That's the target. That's the goal. So already ahead of time I have decided what my goal is. Um, no, you don't have enough. 400, not enough. And I'm, uh, I'm, I've actually been very frustrated because when I get raided, people are taking 4,000 oil from me. However, when I raid, I am only getting on average, I'd say between, I don't know, one and 2,000 on average. That's, I mean, that's my target that I seem to be able to hit relatively easily. This guy's an enlightenment age. Um, so, we're going to see if we can't, uh, well, do we want to disable those? Yeah, I think so. We're just going to go ahead and drop that down there. Allow my tanks to get in there. Boom! Boom, boom! Now, where are these guys going to go? We're going to drop my rifleman right behind there, along with my supply carts. And we're going to get them to go over here. And then we can pop our cannons down right there. And that should allow them to get away from that uh, catapult and still move their way over here. I now have the guys oil, which is, like I said, what we're going for. Stealing some trade goods would be kind of a secondary measure here. I'm not really gaming, aiming for the five stars here. I'd like to just simply make it through this person's base. I learned last war, donated troops within war do not actually have um, a wait time. So as soon as you are in range, they pop out. So there's a zero wait time. I didn't know that. Um, maybe get some suppression fire on that thing. And I think we're going to have to do the same with this catapult up here. Let's get you guys all moving right here. Get some suppression fire going on you. That will allow us to take it out. We've got a minute 30 left, so we're in good shape so far. And I'm trying to work on actually keeping this up so you guys don't have to stare at the top of my head. Uh, I can plop those down right there in order to hopefully target that little archer tower so I can keep my troops moving forward. Uh, let's go there. Throw down some suppression fire onto that last catapult. Hopefully allow my artillery to get in there and take it out. If not, we'll suppress it one more time. Allowing my troops to get healed up and hopefully take it out. There it is. Now I don't really want to get hung up on... Okay, good. My artillery seemed to have done the job. Um, let's just get them all focused on that, for starters. Once that falls, then we're in good shape. So now my artillery are in a good spot that they can start pinging all the rest of those buildings. And 99, we should be alright. So that's complete destruction. I mean, this guy's uh, only got 113 XP. Only going to give us 8 medals, being that I'm sitting at 1400 crowns. 
but I'd like to say that's a moderately successful attack. I would like to see a little bit more oil. We only got 1,200, but that's the goal. Um, so your attacks really have to be based around what you are looking for. Whether you're hunting for uh, food or gold or oil, uh, or you're looking all alternately, you could just be looking for metals. If you're just metal hunting, uh, then you want to be aiming for that five stars, which is similar to a war attack. But that's the deciding factor before you go in. Um, now you can tell. Hmm. I don't. What else? Do you think I missed anything there? Are there any other notes that you'd like to make, Marla? I think that's about it. If you guys are. Uh, so we are going to collaborate our channels. Marla is officially moving over. She's going to be with me. Um, or I'm going to be with her, as the war attacks probably indicate. Um, so we are trying to figure out what we want to change the channel name to. And the reason that I'm kind of putting some stress on this is because I would like to have the customized URL as well. So I'm super stoked that we're getting close to 100 subscribers. Uh, I would love to see that happen. Uh, I'd like to have the customized URL, uh, but I would like your suggestions and feedback as well. We were thinking MC Dominations, um, but I mean, it, it's got to be, I think, an accurate representation of who we are. Uh, got to be easy enough for you folks to find it. Um, but let me know. I'd uh, love to hear your feedback. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. Uh, keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.